in this session of nx mold wizard we'll be discussing about the parting region analysis procedure how to find out which is the positive draft and negative draft or different draft regions how to detect that we'll look into how to view and understand and locate core and cavity regions that also we'll look into how to patch open areas for defining your parting line that also we'll look into and also we'll look into the parting surface creations so before proceeding for parting line we have to analyze the parting regions as it displayed and as i discussed in my earlier session so if you go to the mold parting tool here you will get one option known as parting region so there you can analyze it i'll show you how you can use this particular options if you go to the mold parting you will get a very specific dedicated mold parting tool dialog box and just for example i'll keep it here if you see the region analysis by default the body is selected and draw direction is this direction you can rotate and see this and i will go for calculate once you calculate you can see the time spent here and i'll go to the face here 184 different surfaces found out of that different draft angle limits are displayed under this and you can see here no undercuts are displayed here and if you go to region the core region are colored with this and cavity region is colored with this which you can set here the region colors once you set the region colors independently you can look into the different areas which are displayed and cavity regions and core regions independently you can see the cavity region are consisting on 112 with this color and core region 72 with this color so this you can directly visualize from here the main parting loop around the bottom perimeter of the card holder this bottom perimeter and two internal loops at the opening in the bottom of the card holder and all faces found by the core and cavity so two openings are there that also you can find out this particular opening so that you have to patch before moving to your parting surface i'll just go for okay after doing the analysis next we'll move to our next step you can notice one very important point here that zero faces are identified under undefined region which i have shown you so if you find some region maybe two regions undefined that you have to either add to core or cavity which i will show you very specifically in my coming projects uh, more than eight projects i'll be taking to consider various typical cases so there you will find this very important options undefined region where i will include those regions and after selecting these colors you can visualize different regions as i have shown you next independently the core and cavity regions will include and we create the parting regions that is the parting lines then we'll convert this to surface and how to do that that i will show you and if you see this particular option define regions before going to this this is a very important options which you have to use to patch these areas so once you go to patch surfaces here you can see these are the open patches where you cannot create a parting surface if without patching it so i'll go to the type body so that this body you can select and two loops are found this is one loop and this another loop which you can select and see this also this one loop highlighted and when you select this loop this is highlighted so both the loop by control you can click 
and if you go to apply you can see the setting edge patch surface once you go to apply this will be patched which you can see from other side now there is no problem with the parting line creation so because these are patched after that if you go to the defined region here you can see the cavity region and co regions the 112 and 72 are listed and below that you can see the create regions and create parting lines both are valid for the core and cavity region edge displayed here and you go for apply and before that you can see the colors which are noted here for the face after creating the parting line that can be also set here go for apply and you can see the cavity region you can search regions also this automatically displayed that this is under this region this is displayed in a single color just like that you can go to core region and you can search this and this will be displayed whole that area will be picked and under undefined face you can see this is zero is there this is very very important to understand this so this is about your defined regions now you can see the cavity region is defined and core region is defined see both are now done so in this way you can define your core and cavity region specifically now you can see your core region separately and cavity region separately and you can move ahead with your patch opening which i have shown and after that because this patch opening can be pre or post done because before parting line this has to be done so as i have shown the patching sequence in a very logical way it is shown here so either you can go to the defined regions and you can convert the parting lines and after that you can patch it but is very standard to go through this flow the define the region analysis see the core cavity or any undefined region then go to patch then go to define regions then go to the parting surface and then extract the core and cavity because this is the very fundamental flow which you have to follow so this we saw how to patch and how to create the sheets for creating the parting surface so now we'll understand about the parting surface creation out of your patching done and your parting lines which you have created so how to do that that i will show you if you go to the design parting by default you can see this bottom area is highlighted with respect to which the parting is done and you can see this sheet is shown here if you go to the top view control alt t this dotted area is your bounding box or you can say the workpiece the parting surface should must not intersect this that means it's it's under this boundary it should must over this boundary so that it completely intersect the whole boundary it should must not under intersect and it is inside this so it should must over intersect that means the dimension of your parting surface has to be more than this dotted boundary that is your workpiece so different strategies are there like the ribbons like your trim and extend bounded plane extrude sweep etc sweep also i will show you and typically that will use in our coming projects so once you find this with a proper size and you can see the parting surface length you can increase this also and after that you go for okay once you go for okay here we see the segment 1 which is shown here in the bottom this highlighted areas will be addressed now this parting surface is created in this way you create your parting surface so that core areas and cavity areas are separately taken care 
so in this way you are done with creating the parting surface and you can drag and reposition and as per your requirement you can have your parting surface and once you are done with the parting surface you can see the parting lines parting surfaces and whatever the patches you have and cavity you have inside your history browser then you can get your core component and you can get your cavity component so in this way you can visualize and understand the concept of creating the parting line so let us look into this so i'll go to the define cavity because we are done with the design parting for editing purpose of the parting line we use this this i will use in my coming projects so go to define cavity region here you can see cavity region is there and core region is also there so core region is this one and if you see the cavity region this is the cavity region along with the parting and just like that core region is along with the parting the downside so the component will be separated and created by using this reference so what i will do is i will go to all region because i need to consider cavity as well as core and you can create this and you can suppress the parting also and before moving ahead i will show you couple of thing inside this view manager so whatever the patch surface you create these are stored within this whatever the parting surface you create these are stored within this so in this hierarchy you can get all the details and in future you can suppress and control this as well so let us move to define cavity and core so once you click this you go to the all regions and once you go to all regions you go for okay once you go for okay it will process for the core and cavity region and here you can flip the directions also so i am okay with this so if you are not okay with this you can flip this this is the output component how it looks like just go for okay then the core regions will be created and it will be displayed this is done if you want to reverse it you can reverse it or you can have the original whatever there go for okay and this will be done now this particular core and cavity will be stored in a particular assembly structure if you see this here you have all the assembly structures starting from the top right and if you go to the top here you have a very specific options where this will be stored under prod so this prod will be stored here you can see the card holder underscore prod so before that just i will go for a save so that all the informations recently created will be updated and embedded to your assembly hierarchy so once you get this you can explore this this is the cooling and this is the miscellaneous and here you get a card holder layout under this you will get the prod this is the prod and this another prod and this is the combined so if you go to this particular options and go to make displayed part you can see this or what you can do is you can go for an animation and you can visualize this as well so i will show you how to do that you go for the mold tool and here you have tooling motions this tooling motions also i'll use in case of your mold base so once you go for this you can go to the mount component and kinematic mode so if you go to the mount component this will be added and once you go to kinematic tooling kinematic mode that also we have to add it once you add this here you can see the machine stroke and ejection distance will be specified here and this you can alter also if you want just you apply it and after that you can go to the define cam for motion directions so this is the direction i'll go for apply or you can have a user defined also then you can go to run simulations and you can run it i'll show you from other side
in this way you can visualize and here also you can check it i will show you what check you can do i'll just close it and i'll go to run here you have check once you go to check you can stop the collision also at the highlighted point so once you click this stop after this updating this so after that i will show you how you can check the stop also so you can see the collision is not moving because when the core and cavity is in match place the collision is happening and now you can move ahead the is red highlighted because that is getting collided it is highlighting so in this way you can have an animation to understand the core and cavity and part which are the final output which you are expecting thank you